What's up boys and girls, it's Bruno here with Team UTY and today I have one more update on this Punk Gold Pride deck and to be honest with you guys, this deck is actually more insane than I thought it would be uh, I'm gonna be taking this to locals and testing uh, and I figure out the ratios a little, a little bit better how to play this deck as well and everything but let me share you guys some stuff that I, I believe is gonna make this deck even more broken especially because ban lists have not hit yet and we can actually take advantage as much as Cash Tira they're still playing. So let me show you guys some tech spices that I'm going to be bringing and showing you guys right now. The deck it's a 40 cards, 15 side and 15 extra deck obviously. But let's start on the main monsters, okay? So start off, uh, we're going to be playing three Foxy Tunes. We're playing three Foxy Tunes because it's obvious. It's like one of the best cards. You can special summon another punk from your deck by discarding another card. So it's, it's really good. And then we're going to be playing also three Z Amins. Z Amins is our starter. It's a level three psychic. It's just really good. It's a tuner. And it's fun because you pay six. And then you pretty much activate the effects of all your punk, I mean, gold pride monsters in hand to special summon themselves. We're going to be playing a couple of one offs. We're going to be playing one Deer Note, one Spider, one Sharakusai, and one Wagoon. So search the spell, search the trap. Fusion Summon and Synchro as well during your opponent's turn and then to level 5 that will help us go into our full combo. So yep, okay, that's it for the main um, monsters, punk monsters we have in the deck. And then we're going to be playing 3 Leons. I thought about playing this only at 2, but this is pretty much the heart of the deck actually. Because you can quick effect Synchro Summon, it does not lock you into summoning uh any other uh monsters from the extra deck as long as you haven't used the the first effect i mean the second effect special from the graveyard this turn so if you summon this during your turn you pass turn after that you're free to special summon um like psychic and punisher or whatever the synchro you want to summon during your opponent's turn so it's really good okay we're also going to be playing two carries uh i was playing that at three and i was playing two traps but i'm only playing one trap right now I really like its effect on the graveyard as well to make a monster control gain up to 1500 attack. It's pretty good. And then we're going to be playing one rollerballer because this guy is insane. I would play more of it, but because we can revive with Leon, it doesn't make much sense to play this because more than one, it can be bricky if you don't, ha if you have not paid life points yet. And then we're going to be playing one Nitro Head as well. Nitro Head is kind of insane against Kashira because we can special summon a monster in your opponent's board and then they're not going to be able to special summon their monster because they control something. So really good card, really like it. The effect comes up, up sometimes, but the link that you summon in your opponent's field cannot be used uh, as link material as well, the, the token you summon in your opponent's field. Okay, let's keep going with a couple more monsters. Okay, this is actually insane, guys. We're going to be playing three Fenrir's in the main deck. And the reason why we play this is because it's level 7, you can special summon it. The effect by itself, it's pretty much a boss. If they draw lock for you and you actually have this, it can pretty much be safe for another turn so you can go back and play the game. But yeah, Fenrir is just insane. And I'm going to show you guys some tech decks in the extra deck that it makes sense why you play this him a 3 as well. Okay, and for the main monsters, that's pretty much it. But now we have hand traps. So... Okay, so we're going to be playing three feet, <laughs> Ash Blossom. <laughs> Ash Blossom is pretty good this format. Um, I don't think it's never going to be too bad to play it. So definitely max that on that. We're also going to be playing three Drone Lockbirds. Playing that at three because honestly, Drone stops a lot of games. And then if you're playing against uh, Heavy Samurai, even Kashtira, Drytron even, uh, most decks... They really have a hard time going through Drone Lockbird. So, yeah, Drone Lockbird is actually really good. Um, and then you're going to be playing two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Playing that at two because one searchable, but it's actually a really, really good card in this format. So that's why you play that at three. Okay, that's it for, for some of our hand traps. And the deck is good because you can see how, ma how many like non-engine cards we can play. You guys are going to see there's like more non-engine cards here. Okay. So let's start with the spells right now. We're going to be playing three Itali. Itali is completely insane as well. Especially from the Psychic level 3 from deck. Not much to say. It does and you wins the game. You do, sometimes you not, don't even need to use your normal summon. But yeah, three uh, Italis. Then some uh, Gold Pride cards. We're going to be playing two 
uh, better luck next time. I thought play this card at three, but guys, hear me out, hear me out, okay? You honestly, in your regular punk combo, you're gonna be able to search this card. If you open, okay, it's fine, yeah, it's another search, and then you play points, blah, blah, but it can be bricky if you draw more than one, and most of the time, you don't really need to draw, but if you draw, it's actually pretty cool, but if you don't, you don't really need it, so, yeah, it is it is a draw one during the end phase, but it's all hard ones per turn, so it doesn't really matter having more than, than two. If they break one of this, you can have another one pretty easily. Okay, and then we're also going to be playing one that came out of nowhere. I decided to play this. I might cut this, but I really like how useful this can be. Uh, sometimes they break your board, and they're like, oh, okay, here you go, Dark Hole. And then you lose all your monsters because sometimes you're going to have an Omnigate on board. So here you go. Uh, that came out of nowhere. You can activate it, summon Leon, Leon, summon Rollerballer, and then here you go. You have, like, two more interruptions in your opponent's turn. And it's pretty pretty fun to be honest yeah it's a really good card i like it okay and then uh one gym extreme session pretty good we're gonna be playing one cobbled grave and two uh triple tactics talent uh tdt it's a really good card this format it steals a monster your opponent controls and most of the time you will be able to synchro summon using the monster you take from your opponent and then this is just to avoid ash blossom uh drone lockbird and a couple of the hand traps that they might be playing so Yep. And then the last two cards on the deck, we're going to be playing one Gabu, which is Infirm, and one Start Your Engines. Guys, this is insane, okay? So this card right here, it's not once per turn, but I decided to cut this to one because, honestly, uh, games are going pretty pretty fast. You don't want to break into opening this or Gabu. You already play a couple Garnets that you don't want to see in your deck. So, yeah, only play that at two so you don't break as much. Okay, let's go into the extra deck. As you guys see here, there's already some spicy tags. We play Fortune Tune and one Zeus to go into Zeus. But we have a couple more targets for Zeus in this deck that can come up if needed. So we play one Cherry Carry. You can also go to Zeus with that, but honestly, you most of most time just search the spell. And then we also play, <laughs> let's go, <laughs> one Cash Tira, a Rise Heart. And that's one of the reasons why I like to play uh, Fenrir on the main deck, because you can go into a Rise Heart if they use the effect of uh, Shangri Era on the field, so you gain pretty much a free Arise Heart. You can also use the effect of Fenrir to search another one, and then here you go. You can go to Arise Heart. If anything, your opponent sets their board. If they do not have three material uh, cash to your Arise Heart, what you can do pretty much, you can just special summon your Fenrir and then go into Arise Heart, into battle phase, attack something. Uh, hopefully, you're not going to destroy a battle like Shangri Era, but you can attack Shangri Era, does not destroy a battle. Main phase two. Slap the Zeus on the top of it and Zeus their board. And it feels so good to Zeus without normal summoning. And you just waste your battle phase. It's really good. Yeah, I really like that. That's it for the Xyz monsters, I believe. Uh, here we have one Pinballer and one Rising Card for Fusion monsters. Pinballer recycles itself, so I don't see why I play more than one. I, I rather like leave space for like extra attacks on the extra deck. So yeah. And then we have one Rising Card because, I mean, it's pretty good. And guys, check this out. Rising Carp your water. It's water. Remember that. Same thing with carry. Carry is water. Because now we play a Dragite. It's our brand new Synchro level 8. It's not a punk. But it's a spell or trap negate. Well, as long as you have a water monster in your graveyard. So if you have the Rising Carp or carry. Uh, so. Or carry. It's also water. You can summon this and negate. Uh, as well. Uh, this is also water. But yeah, that's. That's pretty much about it. So Drag Eye comes up a little bit. Uh, we're playing, oops, sorry, that's out of order. We're playing two Gem Dragon Drive because it start or combos. It searches a Psychic level three. It's really good. So yeah, you gotta play that. And then we play one of the Punk Amazing Dragon. We play two End Punishers because this is a boss, honestly. We play one Star Leon, one Crimson Blader, and one Baron de Fleur. Guys, this is insane, okay? Uh, so this is very situational, but if you play against Kashira, you can summon this if you're like the kind of rig you can attack that next turn They cannot summon monsters level 5 or higher. Pretty cool, huh? Star Leon, it's a quick effect to target a monster bone control. This gains attack. Then, uh, you pretty much destroy the monster if you have less life points than your opponent. Yeah, that's, that's it for our extra deck. A total of 15 cards, like I say, obviously. Okay. Uh, side deck, this is my personal preference. I'll be fast with this. Three Cosmic, two Book of Eclipse, three D Barriers, 
three evenlies and then we have the gamma package it can be really really useful most of the time so okay i thought about so last time i was playing the gamma package uh in the main deck but i decided to cut that out because it can be really bricky i rather have a uh, fenrir in my in my field than actually that but that can be really good as well sometimes it's personal preference i cut that package for one extra snow rabbit and three fenriers and i felt pretty good about it not gonna lie i like it okay guys let's go into some test hands right now and i'm gonna show you guys uh one card combo that you guys can do that is pretty fun and as well i'm gonna show you like a, a actual test hand okay let's go into that okay guys like i was saying this is a one card combo um but it's with uh itali if you don't have itali it can be z i mean in any card to this card to be honest okay but let's play uh, like that. Okay, let's say we're gonna open Z Amin and we have another card to this card. We can just normal summon Z Amin. We can activate Z Amin's effect to search for uh, Foxy Tune. Now we can activate Foxy Tune's effect pitching itself and then we're gonna discard Drone Lockford. It doesn't really matter what card. And we're gonna special summon from our deck Sharakusai. Now we can use Sharakusai's effect to pay another 600 life points and then we can fusion summon and go into our Rising Carp. So now we're going to activate Rising Carp Effect and Special Summon two Punks from our deck. It's going to be Wagoon and Deer Note. Now we can pay 600 to search for a spell. It's going to be our field spell. We're going to activate it and we're going to go into a Synchro 8. So check this out right now, guys. So Synchro 8, we're going to go into Punk Jam, Dragon Drive. And then from now, we're going to be able to do Chain 1, Jam, Dragon Drive, pay 600, Chain 2, Deer Note to revive a punk from graveyard you can revive any of these guys but normally we revive sharakusai uh, because it, it can be pretty useful then this go off we're gonna search for our spider field effect is gonna trigger allowing us to draw one card doesn't matter i'm gonna put the the driver here just for fun and now we're gonna activate the field effect to banish a punk from graveyard and special summon another one from your hand here we go we summon spider activate spider effect pay 600 and search for a Gabu, which is a trap, and then field effect again for the last time, another draw. So already draw two cards and have Gabu in hand out of one card and then this card. But now let's extend that a little bit more. Let's overlay those two into Cherry Carry. Okay, here we go. And now we can activate Cherry Carry effect to this pitch, this uh, detach, and then we can search for, oops, sorry, <laughs> search for a spell which is going to be obviously the better luck next time and now we can uh, also use the second effect after that to send something from your hand to the graveyard i mean from deck to the graveyard like gold pride from uh, deck to the graveyard normally i send the carry and i don't i don't really matter about it so send the carry to the graveyard and add a better luck next time now we activate better luck next time allowing us to search for leon and here we go now we can activate Leon's effect to special summon and then effect to revive carry carry effect is going to allow us to go into uh, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, search for the, the trap which is start your engines in your hand and then here we go we have a like it doesn't look like much right now but check this out guys this board is actually pretty fun so counting that this was a one and a half card combo you would have another three cards in hand so you have a seven card hand and then you can set those two interruptions during the end phase. You can activate the effect to return to the extra deck and special summon uh, your uh, carry. Uh, yeah, carry. Oh, carries are here. <laughs> so special summon carry from the deck. My bad. <laughs> so special summon carry for, from the deck. And now you go ahead and activate the effect to draw another card. Here we go. So you have um, three more cards in your hand right now so you still have a six card hand you have two set you can have like a lot of hand traps next turn you have a pop you have a negate you have a, a quick effect synchro that you can go into another pop right this is going to summon another monster and it's probably going to be either nitro head or a uh, roller baller that's what we're going to be trying to summon during the next turn and you're going to have a lot of interruptions to do so let's go into an actual test hand right now and i'm going to show you guys how this deck performs on a daily basis let's go okay guys uh, i just finished power shuffling the whole deck 
So let's start our first test hand. Let's see how this goes. We have a dice here, and let's roll. See how many cards you're gonna take from the top. Six. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six to the bottom. And now we're gonna open our hand. Okay. So let's see this. Okay. Fenrir, Foxytune, Itali, Throne Lockbird, and Ziamen. Oh my gosh. This this hand is absolutely insane, guys. Okay. So start off things, main phase, we're going to summon Fenrir, activate Fenrir effect to search for another Fenrir. Okay, really good. Uh, now what we can do is we can go ahead, normal summon Ziamen, activate Ziamen's effect to search, uh, paying 600, and then we're going to get ourselves another Foxy Tune. That's the smart way to move kind of here. Now what we can do is we can actually activate uh, Emergency Teleport, and then we can go and summon our Cherakusai. So check this out, guys. Uh, we don't want to play into Nibiru in this hand, so what are we going to do? We're going to Synchro Summon uh, into uh, Barone the Floor right now, so we have that protection, okay? And what we're going to do now, we're going to activate that effect to Fusion Summon using itself and other monster in hand, so we can go into uh, Rising Carp, activate Rising Carp effect, to special summon two monsters, which is going to be Wagoon, and it's also going to be uh, uh, Deer Note. Now I activate effect, pay six again to surge for the field effect, field spell, I mean. Activate the field, synchro summoning to eight. If we do right now want, what we can do actually, because like it can be fun, but we can go into Dragite, and then Deer Note still will trigger to someone from Graveyard. But we need two level threes on the field. And we don't have it. Even though we have Foxy Tune. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be good to waste that or not. But let's say it is. Let's summon uh, Dragite. Okay. And then we're going to use Effect from Deer Note to revive or Sharakusai from the Graveyard. And then now we're going to activate uh, Foxy Tune Effect. Pitching the Fenrir that we have in our hand to special summon um, the, where are you? <laughs> special summon uh, Madame Spider. Now activate Spider Effect to search for the Gabu. Now that we pay life points with a Psychic and we have the field spell on the field, we can go ahead and activate the effect to draw one. Okay, let's see. Okay, cut in half. Okay, and then we're gonna draw one card. Here we go, <laughs> better luck next time. Uh, even crazier. So we have three cards in our hand right now. So I don't really want to waste the Sharakusai, but I'm going to have two. So let's just go ahead and overlay that um, for a Chariot Carry. Uh, where are you? Here we go. Activate Chariot Carry effect. Uh, we're going to search our uh, Quick Effect because we now have the, the Continuous on our hand. And then we're going to use the effect. I mean, Detach. Forgot that. So detach, and then we're gonna use the effect to uh, mill something to the graveyard as well. Uh, in this case, I would for sure mill uh, Captain Carry to the graveyard. Now, uh, what we can do is we can activate uh, Better Luck Next Time effect, so we can search for uh, Leon. Now use uh, Leon's effect to special summon, revive the carry, carry effect, to search for our trap. Uh, here we go. Okay, now we have the trap uh, with our hand. Here we go. This is our hand right now. We have now we can set three cards during the end phase. Effect of carry. We'll go back to the extra deck and we summon another carry from the deck. Okay, summon another carry and then in fact to draw one. Let's cut this again. Okay, cutting half, and then draw another card. Here we go, Leon. Now next turn, check this out, guys. This is our end board, so it's a little tight here. This face, I'm going crazy. So right now, this end board. Let's check what we have. Okay, so pretty much next turn, uh, we have a spell and trap negate. We have a omni negate. We have a pop when a monster is summoned and summon another card. We have a uh, that came out of nowhere where we can summon. Uh, from Graveyard, and as well we have uh, Gabu, which is an uh, Imperm, 
Um, and then we have drone lock operating hand. So this is pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, this deck feels super solid. Uh, going against this doesn't look much, but check this out. Just go ahead and boom, um, to go into or start Leon. And now we can activate Leon's effect to pop another card in the field. Yeah, it's just, it's just really good. It's, it feels very solid, the deck. I really like it. And yeah, I hope if the Konami comes up with more support for this deck, it's just as broken as, as it is right now because I really love this, to be honest. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this type of content, hit the smash button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.